This now, let's cross to SABC News uh, political reporter, Samkele Masego. Samkele, a very a good morning to you. Thanks indeed for your time. Well, uh, President, uh, the ANC President, Cyril Ramaphosa, in uh, Mpumalanga today. Uh, is there a mood of a jubilation? Because obviously, certainly seems like it's his faction that may have taken this particular round with the ascension of Mandan who has openly endorsed Cyril Ramaphosa to return as President of the ANC. Yes, indeed. The president of the ANC has arrived here at uh, the Woodbank Dam uh, to effectively close the Mpumalanga Provincial Conference, which sits for the very first time in about six years since the departure of David Mabuza back in 2017. The last had a provincial conference in 2016, but the president has arrived. He is currently sitting in that marquee there right now, waiting for the delegates to come back into plenary as they finished in the early hours of the morning when it came to commissions yesterday and also electing additional members of the provincial executive committee but it's not the only uh, person who's uh, in jubilation within the ANC of the emergence of uh, his allies in this uh, provincial conference another individual is a man from Bushpark Ridge who uh, has uh, aspirations to be in the top six of the ANC and has been raised by some branches to avail himself and that's the Minister of Correctional Services and Justice in the country also ANC NEC member and WC Mr. Ronald Lamula. Mr. Lamula just in essence Mpumalanga is finally set. It's your home province. How do you feel with the provincial conference being a success? Yeah, it is very good for the organization that you have a structure that is legitimate, uh, that is um, elected by the structures in terms of the constitution of the organization. And um, as you are aware, this is the first conference which has been uh, conducted through the new membership system, a provincial conference, and also with the new guidelines. So it was some form of a, of a guinea pig. Hence, uh, many members of the NEC are excited that uh, it was able to go through without any glitches and difficulties. And uh, even where there was contestation, it did not degenerate into anarchy and chaos. And um, all comrades conducted themselves within the prescripts of the ONC values and the uh, organizational policies. When you look at the Mpumalanga conference and what it spells for the December elective conference, you ask the deputy chair, P.D. Mashilo, whom they will choose between yourself and your mentor, the man who taught you a lot within the political space, your former boss when you were a spokesperson when he was the premier of the province, David Mabuza. How would you feel by contesting someone who's mentored you and assisted you all along in your entire political life? Yeah, obviously we will leave that to the organizational processes and we'll be able to respond at the right time. And it's true, um, the deputy president has played a very key role in the struggle and also in the life of the, of the ANC. He will always uh, be held dearly by members of the ANC, even ourselves who also grew up um, in the province uh, when he was the chair. So it is a very important role that he has played, which uh, we will always uh, thank him. With many other comrades of the ANC, we have played a very important role in the struggle and uh, also in rebuilding and shaping this democracy. But there is a reality that uh, we must be able to move forward, we must be able to reinvigorate, regenerate and also move um, in a manner that uh, will also respond to the challenges of the country in terms of generational mix, uh, but it also in terms of um, responding to the reality that we have got two biggest opposition in this country that are led by a very youthful generation. So the ANC must also respond to that in terms of his top six, but also in terms of its um, national executive committee as a whole. As to whether um, we will they contest or not, we will leave that to the processes of the organization and respond at the right time. When you look at this particular conference, Mandlandov will come from the same region as you. You are seemingly very close with him. And uh, he's uh, openly said that one day they would effectively love to have someone from Pushpak Ridge in uh, the top six and effectively the Deputy President of the Republic. And uh, what does that particularly say, knowing that the relations between Mandlandovu and the incumbent Deputy President and knowing that this faction here that has won does not effectively support the DP, yet his allies were defeated Pat Ngomani and Lakin Denisa? Yeah, obviously the ANC is a unitary structure um, and um, it does not encourage um, to, if uh, uh, any structure wants to support or nominate anyone, it must be on the basis of capability. It must not be on the basis of the fact that they come from the same area or uh, and um, they grow up together. Uh, so it is um, up to the ANC structures to decide who is the best capable cadre at the given moment uh, going through the eye of the needle uh, and, um, and, and so forth. But uh, 
at the end of the day, it will be the organizational processes. And I can say that uh, I'm not only close to, to Comrade Manja, I'm also close to Lakindinisa, who was contesting him, and uh, most of the comrades who were contesting the, the conference. I grew up with them in the ANC clique, and they, like, uh, they conducted themselves in a dignified manner. They contested conference in a manner that um, I think uh, befits the values of the ANC. It was not chaotic, it did not degenerate into anarchy, and um, it um, moved in line with what um, the organization expects, robustness, engagements, and, um, and openness, and they were also forthright. So I think at the end, the, the, the structures and the branches prevailed in terms of their preferences. When you look at the various uh, pronouncements by some of these leaders, ahead of the 55th National Conference of the December, Spidima Shilo has pronounced the president of the ANC, who is here now for a second term, the same as Mandlam Dovu, the same as Mandlam Sibi, uh, at some instances showing his support for the ANC president. Does this spell unity of the ANC going towards its 55th national conference and looking at the various regional and provincial conferences coming up. Chris Hani, region in the Eastern Cape, also pronounced yesterday Oscar Mabuyane for a second term and Ramaphosa for a second term. Yeah, obviously it is within the context of a continuity and change that while we speak of continuity, it must also be dialectically um, dealt with in terms of change, uh, striking that necessary balance between the, the experience uh, comrades and uh, also an infusion of a, of a new cadres in the various structures across the country, which I think will go well as and when structures engage in these processes. It's, um, it's very good that um, the conference has said in a dignified way and in a dignified manner, which I hope will be a model kind of a conference across the country, which one, the following one is the Eastern Cape. I hope uh, they will also uh, conduct themselves in the same manner that the comrades conducted themselves here. And uh, in also other regions that are sitting as we are here in this conference, they will, they will also hope that uh, they will conduct themselves in a dignified manner and that this will restore the values of the ANC and send a strong message uh, in terms of uh, policies discussing issues of unemployment, discussing issues that affect society, which society wants, particularly the various social ills that we have on unemployment, on poverty, and the various issues, which is what should be the main focus. Thank you very much, NEC member Ronald Lamula. We are going to bring in now uh, Ms. Mrs. Nomvula Mukonyane, who is the ANC's head of uh, organizing at Losuli House. She's currently engaging with uh, the coordinator of the SGO office uh, as they're currently busy with something as the president of the ANC has also arrived. Uh, Konyane, just a quick one. I know you're very busy. Just an overall picture of uh, as the head of organizing. Regional conferences have taken place, provincial conferences have taken place across the weekend. Just a sum up tentatively of how everything has gone in all the regions that have sat and the province here in Bumala. We're quite humbled by the extent of uh, organizational discipline that has uh, uh, been demonstrated throughout the country over this weekend. Um, we have uh, regional conferences, the last one in the Northern Cape, John Taolo Haiziwi. Um, there's a sitting in Krisani, there's a sitting in Lower South Coast. We are here in um, Pomalanga, it's a provincial conference, the second provincial conference after the Northern Cape. And um, we're using our own system of uh, renewal and rebuilding where processes start from the branch um, and culminate into a meeting of this particular nature with a lot of political content. I'm sure you saw last night, for three hours in the cold environment, uh, the plenary was engaged on a real political uh, discourse. We're quite happy and uh, we also also are quite elated that the delegates remained disciplined. The hall was forever full with the, when the proceedings were unfolding. And also what was an issue that was seriously raised with us uh, was uh, possibilities of violence. It all went smooth. We apologize to those that we took uh, longer to accredit, but uh, it was because uh, we're piloting a new method that uh, ensures that uh, accreditation of an ANC delegate is something that is also credible in its own application. Thank you very much. Just summing up the weekend's political program of the ANC, I'm just going to ask my colleague Tabo just to come with me as we wrap this uh, crossing up with uh, Mandlan Lovu, who, is, uh, current, who has uh, just uh, finished his very first meeting with uh, the ANC President Cyril Ramaphosa uh, here, whom he just went to greet now, and we will go uh, 
to Mandlandovu just uh, to get uh, a sense of how his very first meeting with uh, the ANC president, which was pretty much a uh, meet and greet. And uh, hopefully uh, he may think it was to congratulate him for winning the provincial chairperson position in the province as he's had his first meeting with uh, the president of the ANC. He's uh, uh, alongside the former spokesperson, Sase Kahneman. Are you still the spokesperson, Sase Kahneman, or have you been fired? Eh? No, well, there's no firing. <laughs> We're waiting chief, for the new uh, election of the uh, complement of the full PC, and then uh, the PC will appoint uh, a spokesperson. Why did you decline? But, why but, did it? But I'm with the chairperson here. Why did you decline the position of uh, deputy secretary? I believe that uh, uh, the person that is uh, appointed was going to represent us very well, and therefore I felt, uh, let me not accept. <laughs> the chairperson of uh, Pumalanga, you had your first meeting with the president yeah. now. How, how was your first meeting? My first meeting with the president? Yes, yeah, since you've been elected oh, as chairperson. not the first meeting. I've been meeting with the president since 2017 when I was uh, uh, appointed by the PTT to act as the chairperson. It's your first meeting as chairperson elected? Yes. It was your first meeting as chairperson no, elected? I'm happy about uh, this conference, that it went very smooth, that uh, comrades did not fight. So, but I can't speak on behalf of the president. He's going to address uh, our delegates himself. Thank you very much, Mandlandovu. That is the newly elected chairperson of Mpumalanga alongside Sasekane Manzini, who declined the position of a deputy secretary in the new camp, which is aligned to the deputy president, and saying that he chose to support Mandlandovu and Muzi Chira because it's a very capable leadership that can take the province forward. And more NEC members of the ANC, there's a lot of them here. I can see. Mamloko Kupa, I can see my Tinkoane Mashaba and Zulim Kiza is also here. Takota Likwete, Gwen Ramokupa, Ronald Lamula, David Mashobo. There's a contingent of about nine to ten ANC NEC members as they pilot this new system that they are using towards their elective conference. So, in essence, Mandlandovu also saying that the president is pretty much happy with how the elections have gone by here in Mpumalanga, signaling that he is giving this provincial conference and the elected leadership leadership a thumbs up as the ANC builds up to its 55th national conference and some of those officials that have been elected have endorsed him for a second term.